All right, so the first kind of latte art we're gonna talk about today is free pour. And again, this is like the working barista's type of latte art. You're pouring it as you're making drinks for customers and it takes no more time to pour a free pour design than it would to pour a drink without latte art. Um, so here are some basic uh, quality benchmarks we're gonna talk about. Again, we mentioned the really nicely textured milk. You wanna see a nice crisp white design without any beige, uh, nice and centered in the cup. These are things that we value in free pour latte art. So let's show you some, some good and some bad examples of these things, and then we'll move on to actually pouring some designs. So again, an appropriate amount of milk in the cup. All right, first things first, I'm gonna swirl my crema, just to make a nice even palette, and swirl the milk. Now this is the first lesson we wanna learn, is you wanna have nice, uh, really finely textured milk before you begin. If we don't, it'll just never wind up being the way you want it to look. So I'm just gonna start with a basic dot in the cup with milk that isn't quite as good. And here we can see a lot of like pock marks and a lot of visible bubbles. The edges aren't very crisp. There's a lot of dots and speckles here. Um, this milk isn't terrible, but it's not quite as good as it could be. We want to make sure that we're a little better than this when we start to pour our designs. We have our milk right for this one, um, but I'm going to show what happens when you get more beige and less of that crisp white. So you only get that nice crisp white latte art when you're about this close uh, from the spout of the pitcher to the liquid in the cup. We tilt the cup so we can get as close as we want as soon as we want. If I don't, you'll see that no matter how low I get the pitcher, you get a lot of that beige before the white eventually pops out. So all the stuff around the edge we want to get rid of. And we do that by tilting the cup and getting really close with the spout to the liquid in the cup. So once you have great milk quality and you can tilt the cup, we'll get that nice crisp design we're looking for. So I'm going to pour from slightly higher. Fill the cup up about halfway, and then drop down. Just let the foam spill out into the middle. Here we have a nice centered dot, crisp and white with great foam quality. So all the free pour designs we pour today will involve these principles. We're gonna have great milk, we're gonna get right down really close to the surface of the liquid in the cup with the pitcher. Um, before we begin pouring, and that's going to bring all these designs into this really nice centered crisp area where you want them.